Jordan is a land rich with history and natural wonders. Beyond the mesmerizing Nabatian city of Petra, the wild beauty of Wadi Rum, or the Roman ruins of Jerash, the Kingdom of Heaven possesses lesser-known treasures that are nevertheless as tightly tied to the very identity of the Jordanian people. Known for the vibrant capital of the kingdom, Haman, lies natural wonders deeply rooted in the soil and culture of the region, ancient olive trees dating back to the Roman era. These majestic trees have witnessed centuries of civilization, standing as silent witnesses to the passage of time. Join us as we explore the cultural significance of Jordan's ancient olive trees, the challenges that they face, and the tireless efforts of the Jordanian people to preserve them. Welcome to Golden Roots, preserving Jordan's ancient olive trees. Olive trees have been an integral part of Jordan's cultural heritage for over 6,000 years. Revered for their symbolism of peace, fertility, and prosperity, these trees hold a special place in the heart of the Jordanian people. Olive trees and olives were always part of the, uh, the, the ethno knowledge and the ethnobiology and the environment and the tradition in the region. You know that uh, all religions actually or most of religions uh, were born in this region. And if you go with history, you will find uh, Noah, uh, he got the, the news about the, the land by getting uh, olive uh, branch coming to him with a dove. Uh, or you will find it in the New Testament when uh, the, uh, uh, the groom was waiting his, uh, uh, his brides coming with, uh, with the lamb that is lighted uh, with olive oil. So it's part of the, the history. Also in the Quran it is mentioned as a, a source of light, the oil of the tree. But what is also very necessary to mention here that when you speak about olive trees, you speak about uh, depth in history, you speak about tradition. Um, a lot of local dishes are cooked with the olive oil or with the olive fruits. So it's part of the tradition, part of the culture. You cannot find a village uh, in the north and the central and even some of the parts of the southern parts of Jordan. Uh, you cannot find a garden without an olive tree. From the time-honored practice of olive oil extraction to the use of olive wood in traditional crafts, the olive tree is deeply intertwined with Jordanian light. To truly understand the significance of Jordan's ancient olive trees, we must delve into the captivating history. Jordan played a vital role in the domestication of olives, making it a cradle of ancient olive cultivation. The earliest evidence of olive domestication in the region dates back thousands of years. Excavations at archaeological sites across Jordan have unearthed ancient olive pits and oil presses, shedding light on the deep-rooted connection between olives and the people who inhabited this land. All this evidence of uh, having an old uh, evidences of olive trees was also discovered by a French scientist. She was able to discover in the south of Jordan uh, a place where she found seeds of olives or olive fruits that goes more than 5,000 5, years uh, old. So this is the oldest evidence of olive trees uh, in the world. Moreover, during, during the Roman and the Hellenistic Empire, we, you can find some uh, ma olive mills that were used to extract oil with the traditional approach from the, the olive fruits. The domestication of olive trees occurred in multiple locations throughout the Mediterranean, and Jordan was undoubtedly one of the key regions. The rich soils and favorable climate provided ideal conditions for olive cultivation, leading to its early adoption by ancient civilization. Olive oil continues to hold immense cultural and economic importance in Jordan, retaining its significance to this very day. It serves as a cornerstone of the country's cultural identity 
deeply ingrained in its tradition and heritage. Furthermore, from an economic standpoint, Jordan remains a key global producer of olive oil. The olive oil industry contributes to the nation's economy and is starting to get international recognition and demand from all over the world. Jordan is considered as uh, number 10 uh, in, in the production in the world when the amount of olive, uh, olives that we are producing. We have self-sufficiency in Jordan, but we have a small niche market for export. We are trying to improve the amount and the quality for the export. Many of our uh, olive producers uh, won uh, very important uh, uh, olive quality awards worldwide. By the way, num tree number one in Jordan is the olive tree, the by numbers. So you can find uh, almost uh, uh, a tree for uh, in every backyard uh, in every of the villages. In the vast expanse of time, olive trees have thrived in the region for millennia. However, the remarkable abundance of ancient olive trees found in Jordan is truly exceptional. What a few groves of comparable age or older can be found in Greece and other Mediterranean countries, the majority of olive trees in the world are just descendants of carefully chosen specimens. Unfortunately, these newer generations cannot provide us with a true taste of the olives from ages past. It is truly a marvel that Jordan possesses such a plentiful array of living witnesses, preserving the memory of long-lost empires and people. These venerable trees, with their massive circumferences, reaching several meters sometimes, hold a place of significance in the rich tapestry of Jordanian heritage. Just like the castles and ruins scattered across the country, these olive trees stand as cherished relics of the past. They embody the enduring spirit of Jordan, serving as living witnesses to the passage of time and the historical legacy of the land. If by just looking at the trees, it is possible to say that they must be very old, researchers have been trying to get a more precise picture of their real age. Their conclusion is that most of these Roman olive trees are between 600 and 1,500 years old. It is nevertheless quite hard to give a precise age to a tree. So there is always the possibility of a margin of error. When you evaluate those uh, those old olive trees, whether using uh, the, the 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 carbon uh, or using the the measurements, the morphological measurements or the size of the trees, you can understand how old and how huge are, are those trees. What we are trying to do is to conserve those trees. There are three main locations in Jordan where you can find old, those very old trees, two in the north and one in the south. But those olive trees, they are important as a resource, genetic resource, to, uh, to, uh, to help uh, generally farmers to multiply those trees because they, this variety is capable to survive drought and high temperature in addition to uh, uh, drought. During the course of their research, the National Agricultural Research Center of Jordan, also called NARC, which is an esteemed branch of the Ministry of Agriculture, made astounding discoveries that have illuminated the history and profound significance of olive tree cultivation in Jordan, as well as its impact over all of the Mediterranean when it comes to the viral tools that are cultivated. These revelations have unveiled a new perspective, enriching our understanding of the vital role that Jordan played in the spreading of olive trees in the Mediterranean basin. Well, studying the, uh, the olive trees uh, and generally the genetic resources is one of our mandates. And uh, we were studying old olive trees uh, to evaluate their, the reason behind their adaptation toward climatic changes, toward uh, heat stresses, toward the drought, uh, salinity, uh, erosion, and so on. And uh, surprisingly, we discovered while studying the full genome sequencing of those trees and also the 
the full chloroplast sequencing of those trees, we discovered that they are the origin of two very important varieties that are well spread worldwide. One is Italian, one is Spanish, and Spain and Italy are the main exporters of uh, olive oil in the world. Uh, Frontoyo and Monzanello. So we discovered that our historical or old olive trees that named Mehras are uh, the origin of those, uh, those two very important varieties. Despite their deep-rooted history, Jordan's ancient olive trees face numerous challenges in the modern world. Climate change with its erratic weather patterns and religious rainfalls poses a significant threat to these trees. Additionally, the spread of pests and diseases require constant vigilance to protect the trees and ensure their survival. Furthermore, rapid urbanization puts pressure on agricultural land, encroaching upon the ancient olive groves. Honestly, uh, those trees are threatened by urbanization. People are expanding. Uh, those trees are existing within villages. People want to build their houses. So what they need, they need to move that tree to, to build their own house. And it's understandable, uh, honestly, from human side. Uh, for us as scientists, it's, it's, it's a catastrophe. The other reason is there are many, uh, many uh, companies and many, uh, uh, if you wish, uh, uh, hotels and those who are working in, uh, in touristic or, or in marketing, they buy those trees for a huge amount of money and they uproot it and transfer it to another place. They reallocate it. You know, you know, olive trees are capable to be reallocated, like dates also that can be reallocated, not like other trees. So, so it is becoming a, a kind of, a, there is a price now for the tree rather than a value. What we are trying to do is to increase the value of the tree rather than the price of the tree. Hopefully, the project of conservation that we are running will help us to maintain and to protect those trees. Recognizing the importance of preserving Jordan's ancient olive trees, the government has taken proactive measures to safeguard this cultural treasure. They have established nurseries to cultivate new olive saplings, ensuring the continuity of these precious trees for future generations. Moreover, the government has invested in research and development to combat pests, diseases, providing farmers with the necessary resources and knowledge. There is a very important project which is ongoing. It is uh, it is supported by the Jordanian government, uh, by the National Agriculture Research Center, by the Dutch uh, government through a project which name is Jordan Horti Future, and through the AFD, through those through this consortium of support, we are trying to uh, to extract the oil of each of those trees separately then each bottle will get a QR code that would indicate the tree and the olive oil that is coming from that particular tree. This is the, generally the idea that we are working on and with a, a GPS location that the consumer would see the tree, the location would get the history of that tree and be, will be able to buy the oil and the story of that oil rather than just the oil and it will be small amount it's a niche market but it is helping and equipping or empowering small holders small farmers because those you know you would find a family that is owning one tree rather than an orchard so this will empower those families to make an income uh, to make an income generating project by preserving and keeping those trees and in the same time getting income through marketing the story of the oil that they extract. Uh, the other value which will touch the farmers directly is the high value of, and the, the sensorial analysis and the chemical analysis of the oil of those trees is, is really very unique. We are really very proud that during the last few months, we presented the results of this work in, um, in Cial Paris, uh, in the exhibition and also 
uh, we uh, presented it in the uh, World Olive Oil Exhibition uh, in Spain. And it, we have seen how valuable it is this oil and how people really treasure uh, this oil. And they were really very, uh, people really liked uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, flavor and the story behind this oil. Roman olive trees, with their gnarled trunks and resilient nature, stand as silent witnesses to the rich history and heritage of Jordan. Through the dedicated work of local organizations, communities and the government, steps have been taken to ensure the conservation of these ancient treasures. By identifying and cataloging the olive trees, experts are able to monitor their health and implement necessary measures to safeguard the survival for future generations. Moreover, the government's commitment to creating hiking trails that traverse these ancient groves showcases their recognition of the cultural and ecological significance of these trees. Beyond their historical and environmental value, these ancient olive trees possess tremendous economic potential for Jordan. As the global demand for high-quality olive oil continues to rise, Jordan has the opportunity to shine as a prominent premium producer and exporter by harnessing the unique qualities of this old tree's olive oil. Jordanians can position themselves as a global player, capturing the hearts and palates of discerning consumers worldwide. The ancient olive trees of Jordan are not merely symbols of the past. They represent the resilience, wisdom, and sustainable future of the nation. As we celebrate these majestic living relics, let us ensure that their legacy endures for generations to come.